What's up everyone, it's Ballet Brand. In this video, I want to do just a quick topic, right? Uh, when is the pulse chain snapshot date going to be? And so without further ado, I do have on my share screen, uh, let me scroll over. So uh, this was my most recent stream. As you can see, it was three hours ago. And let me scroll up to over here. So if, if y'all aren't familiar, uh, Joe Perry's, y'all need to follow him. But let me, sorry about this. Let me zoom out real quick. Um, anyways, so for whatever reason, my Zoom's not working right the second. But it says, what do you think the snapshot for Pulse Chain will be? And then it says, great streams go hex. So sorry that didn't uh, cover over all the way. Let me just try one last refresh and uh, let me mute myself real quick. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Come on, damn it. Okay, so when do you think the snapshot date will be? He's talking about Pulse Chain. And then he says, great streams, go hex. Sorry about that hiccup, um, but I've got one last thing to share. So what Richard has talked about, we can actually share that now, is first the the first thing that needs to be done is the test net, right? The test net needs to be launched and then the actual snapshot date can happen probably about a month after that. And so when I type in Richard Hart snapshot just on Twitter, let me share the screen so everyone can see what the hell I'm talking about. Richard Hart snapshot. I mean, this is the same thing that I've done. Scroll down a little bit. And if you're not following, one second. So if you're not following, it's either Rabu or Rebu Sensei, um, then you need to be, damn it. Because look, R-A-B-U-S-E-N-S-E-I. And they make YouTube clips just like I do. But they actually don't post them to YouTube. They actually just post them to Twitter. So they make Twitter clips, but they don't do anything for YouTube. And they've always said, hey, you know, you can use my clips. Um, no credit needed. But personally, as someone that does his own clips in 1080p, uh, I, I personally don't feel comfortable taking someone else's clip, even if I recognize them for, for stealing it from them. I, I just don't feel comfortable doing that personally. For someone that's kind of gone in to, to do the details, maybe I should uh, grow past it. I don't know. But anyways, without further ado, so let's just read what they say. So the question is, any idea when the snapshot is? And then it says, Richard Hart, I mean, look, I'm hoping two months, but I was hoping two months a month ago, maybe. So it kind of goes to show you that, that Richard's talking about there being, uh, he said he said the specific word was like a hang or like a hang up on the, um, on either the node or the software. I think, I think it was the software because of the, the London fork, the EIP 1559. But the point is to the people that were asking and, and shout out to you, Joe, is that Richard, he's always mentioned from what I've heard, uh, one month that he wants for the test net to be uh, launched and so people can develop on it, right? Because when you have the test net, you pretty much have like a, a private version of the main net, except all the transactions are fake, you know, obviously they're not recorded um, to the real main net. But the point is, is people can at least build their front ends. So like ETH hex is a front end of Uniswap, right? So you want people to be able to build their front end for the Pulse Chain Network because the same uh, front end for the Pulse Chain Network might not work for the Ethereum Network, right? So they need to make sure that they're compatible. And that's pretty much what it's about, right? So Richard had mentioned maybe a month on the test net. And then he thought the main net, or sorry, uh, a month on the test net. And then he thought the actual test net itself was going to be launched like three, four weeks ago. So the test net itself is actually being delayed. And when you look into the delay of Hex.com, since it's a smart contract, um, they were ended up delaying about like eight months, something like that, because of the audits and because of the share rate and, you know, just little bugs that happen. But with Pulse Chain, the only delay is the actual test net itself. And then once that happens, my guess from what Richard has said is about uh, a month later, we should have the mainnet launch. And that is where you will have the copy of the ERC-20 tokens and the system state. So the, um, not the JPEGs, 
but the NFTs, right? The ERC 721s, those will be copied over. The uh, block height that it copies over will contain all of the Ethereum system state. But did those people on Ethereum with their system state, did they actually take the time to write the front end for it to work and be compatible with Pulse Chain? That's the real question, right? So that's why Richard wants to give them about a month to, uh, to do that. So when Joe asked that question on my stream, I had predicted, I mean, some people have said October and November. I'm probably leaning towards mid-October to the end of the year is when I expect it to be fully launched. And unless there's like more snags and more hiccups, we'll probably know within the next month. But until then, I'm expecting there to be some, you know, not only development, but announcements of the Pulse Chain, you know, starting soon or in a couple months, or sorry, a couple weeks, not months, uh, a couple weeks. And then it would be ready, you know, about a month later from then. So that's all I have to say. That's the question for the snapshot, right? And when it comes to the snapshot itself, Richard has mentioned that there's not going to be a specific date and specific time because he doesn't want there to be a mass pump and dump on all the networks, but more likely it's going to be like a range of time. So whether that be one week, uh, one to two weeks, whatever the range is, he had mentioned most recently that there's going to be a range of times as opposed to a specific snapshot date, which he had mentioned before that. So that's all I have to say. I hope everyone's doing well. Once again, get your book of uh, Joaquin Christensen on uh, on Amazon Prime or just Amazon. You know, t you know, look it up on Google, and that way you can kind of educate your friends that might like to read a little bit more on uh, on paper. They might be able to understand Hex a little bit more. And I tell you what, if you get people in before the actual snapshot, no one knows when the hell it's going to happen, but why not just stake your hex? Like, why not just stake it for, you know, six months, uh, a year, or something like that? Like, how long is that asking someone to wait when you see that they're going to get a double, like, of the coins, and maybe the coins are worth more than each individually? So that's all I have to say. I hope everyone's doing well. I'll see you on the next Evergreen clip. That's pretty much all I have for today. Thank you, everyone, for joining the stream today. Had about 197 people at, at the most. And I hope to cross that 200 mark soon. But um, yeah, I just appreciate everyone being able to follow the channel. I do the clips on this channel as well. So you kind of get all of it within one channel. I try to separate it into different playlists that the clips are in one playlist and then the streams are just on all the videos. But yeah, hope everyone's doing well. I mean, the price is doing super amazing. Look, we're at a 23.65 pennies. We're so close to 25. We're so close to Matty Allen Allen braiding his hair and uh, and getting 25 cornrows. So that'll look pretty cool, especially with his long, luscious locks. And uh, without further ado, I'll see everyone next time. Okay? Peace.